What's good? It's A P. One in the billion, and I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Cali right now, but guess what? Still Brooklyn style. Brooklyn style, baby. Brooklyn style. Huh. <laughs> For those of you that don't know where that comes from, you better get on your Biggie and listen to the old Biggie albums. But anyway, all right, I see this coach, Rutgers University, Mike Rice. Mike Rice, he is straight wilding on his team. I mean, the guy, he throws balls at his team. He hits duels in the head with the ball. He grabs their jerseys. Um, he cursing at them, calling them all cop all kind of names and stuff, calling them faggots and calling them cocks and just every crazy thing you could think of. You know what I say? It's not really new to me. <laughs> Why is it not new to me? I had a high school coach the same way. Hi, Ira. What's good? Now, fortunately for me, Ira never took it there with me. We always had a respect level with each other, so it never happened, but... I, that's not the same case for some other people. <laughs> some of the craziest experiences I ever seen. I saw keys get thrown at people. I saw balls get thrown at people in a regular. I saw the whole rack of balls that hit the floor, and then dudes got to go pick them up. I saw dudes. I, I, I could. That's just that's light stuff. I saw stuff in the game. I mean, re really, like he be molded himself in in the form of like a Bobby Knight type, you know. So I thought it was rather comical. But like I said, we always had the type of relationship where it was more respect there, so that never happened. So what I will say about this Mike Rice situation, um, it's crazy. And it doesn't even seem like a race thing because he get on the white players just as bad as he get on the black players. It's crazy what he's doing to these players, how he grabbing these guys, throwing them around, tossing them and stuff. I think that's definitely obsessive. And he's lucky that I wasn't a player on his team because that would not happen homie I'm letting you know right now real talk that would not hot not happen and don't say oh the, I'm hood I'm street listen I own a, a pretty nice company you know and I can talk the street when I want to and all that but really I'm a smart individual I I'm just letting you know that when it come when it come down to business no disrespect like that is happening. I wonder, this is what I'm just wondering. Have, have the parents ever seen this? Have they ever seen how this guy treats their, their children? Are they paying attention? You know what I mean? It's just crazy to me. I, the, the, he's just straight tossing guys, just throwing. Look, I'm putting the link below, all right? The link is below. You got to watch what this coach is doing to his, his players. And Eric Murdoch, who used to play at Providence and place years in the NBA, he's his assistant coach. So once Eric Murdoch got there, he said, he's like, look, this guy is abusing these kids. This is crazy what he's doing, and I think it's out of line. So I feel like <laughs> this needs to be addressed. And they, apparently, Eric Murdoch said that he that Mike Rice will never, the, the upper people, uh, I guess the athletic director, anybody important was there, that the coach would be on his best behavior. And as soon as they, they leave, he would go crazy on the players again. That's just so funny to see, man. It was it was funny, but it's not funny at all because nobody should be should be treated that way. Like just for a basketball scholarship, like you gotta go and be abused for a scholarship. Like that's crazy, man. It's, you you never know what these coaches, what these people are doing with your children. So I'm saying, for any Mike Rice's out there, listen. My son, he three years old now, but one day he's gonna be a major player. And when he is, trust me, dad is going to be there all the time, and that's not going down. You know what I'm saying? So, coaches, just stop it. Stop it now. All right? And save yourself, because when y'all all, all want to recruit my, my, my young guy, as a matter of fact, forget just my son. I'm an uncle to 15 boys, all right? 15 boys. So, I got kids 6'6", six, six, and... Six 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 three six four, all different sizes. That's one is in college right now, and the rest of them are in high school and junior high school, elementary and pre K right now. They're gonna be playing ball for years. You don't want to mess. With, 
You don't want it. Don't do it to yourself, right? So just start treating your players right, right? But this this is one thing I want to know. Now, because I know white parents, and I'm, they pay attention to to their children. Like I mean, not pay attention. I mean they participate in their games and all that. Black black families do too. Black families participate. But I just want to know this: for the white parents that saw their children being their their child being abused by this coach, how did they react to that? Did they say, "Ah, that's just what you need, Roger. You need him to take care of you like that. You need that. That that's what you need. You need that discipline." Tell me this, if that was a black coach and those white parents saw the same thing, a black coach going crazy on their children like that, what would they do? That's all I want to know. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. I'm AP, one in a billion, and I'm out.